Hello me guys, what is up? This is Tales of Arbaga, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Let's get it started. Oh, stars! Stars! Let's get it started! Okay. I like this so far. I really do. So far, it's just a treasure trove of mini stars here. I can't hear the music. I heard a note that sounded kind of ominous, but... Hmm... What are we doing here? Oh, it's a buffet of powers, I guess. Uh... Shit, what do I want to go for? You know what, I think I'm just gonna keep with double cutter for now, but if that turns out to be a bad idea... Well, there's crystal shard number one for the stage already. Okay, this is starting to become really, really weird in this world, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of unnerving how bright and colorful and cutesy everything so far has been. It does not bode well, let me just say that. I know that Kirby games a lot of times have that kind of mood whiplash and stuff and hide a lot of disturbing shit underneath its cutesy exterior. So... With my seasoned Kirby intuition, we're probably in for something a little bit spooky later on in this world, probably. The fact that so far it's just all been bright, colorful rainbows. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. So far, nothing has given me the feeling other than, like, one ominous note in the music, and even then, that's probably just because I can't hear the music very well because I turned my TV down to... As low as possible, but still so that the sound effects are audible. I basically have it set down to one on my television because, as I've said before, the Wii is a lot... Basically, anything I uh, play using a component com connection, and especially a composite connection, is a much louder console than anything I use with an HDMI collection, so... Collection connection? I'm gonna collect connections. Oh no. Nope, everything's a flying enemy now, except for that guy. The dead enemy. The dead enemy. Yeah, so far this has just been really fucking strange. I mean, it's not like been super bad or anything like that, but it's just... You know... You know the trope, nothing is scarier? It's like, when you're presented with absolutely nothing, it's a lot creepier sometimes than something that's actually trying to actively scare you. It's like a fear of the dark. You don't necessarily know what's going to be hiding in the dark, so you see nothing. Well, it could very well be anything, so... Forgive me if I'm just sounding like a, br a broken and slightly creeped out record at this point. I should probably talk about something else. Eh... Uh, I don't know, so far this has been a very calm level and world and stuff. Well, I guess level is technically the term for the worlds in this game. But, oh, why am I running into all these burbs? No, why am I running into all these burbs? <laughs> it's so... odd. But it's kind of good to be playing a calming game, actually, because earlier tonight, or I guess it was technically yesterday now, given the fact that... Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Something creepy had to be in the stage. This ominous black void in the background, this fucking subspace emissary shit told you. It could not be that bright and jolly. And we're actually done with the stage. That's surprising. Yeah, that's... And... Final boss? I thought there would be another stage in this world, but we're all in miracle matter already? I almost kind of feel like I should go back through the previous stages, find the crystal shards, and pad the episode out. But... Uh, 
legs go, I guess. Alright, here it is. The final boss fight. Miracle Matter. And yes, I do know what this thing is called, and I do actually vaguely remember actually fighting this final boss, because, uh, as I've said before, I haven't owned this game, and I haven't played it all the way through, but I did actually have a friend who had a copy of this game. Are you power up your bomb? Okay. So we need... I need some kind of power. Miracle Matter Hero will basically copy all of Kirby's different, uh, copy abilities. But you know, you need to hit him with a specific copy ability. Uh... And that was not it. Or no, you just have to suck up his projectiles and spit them back at him, I guess. I may be remembering this boss wrong. I don't know. That tends to happen. Alright, well, we've got to do this. We've got to avoid the Noid here. So, Miracle Matter, can I hit you from there? No. Okay, you're shielded like that. Ooh, I see, though. He takes a lot less damage than other boss fights do, so... This may be a long boss fight, a long and arduous task. Oh god. Oh, what? What? Laser beams. There came the sun, I guess. Okay, this is ice. Spiraling around. This is actually a really, uh, like a very visually interesting boss fight, might I add. But as we were saying before, it's kind of good to be... Playing something a little bit, uh, calming, because, simply put, I, I don't want to say that, oh, I've been having just a rough and horrible day, but, as some of you guys may know, I actually suffer from depression, and sometimes it just kind of flares up and I feel really sad and useless, so, and I guess to be fair, I kind of am just really sad and useless, but... I don't know. I guess I should be thankful that you guys actually, like, watch my videos and are vaguely entertained by these videos and stuff. And I guess that should kind of cue me into maybe I'm not as dumb and useless as I often think I am, but... Still, at the same time, when you have depression, it's kind of hard to s see the bright side of life at times. Basically, I always I always kind of get the feeling, and this is a really horrible thing to think as well, but I always get the feeling that my life is just really redundant, that I shouldn't exist because I really don't offer much of anything new to this world, so it's a, it's a really horrible feeling to have, certainly, but that's just a lot of times how I feel, and... Being able to do these Let's Play videos, and the fact that I actually can entertain people sometimes, it's... It matters a lot more to me than you'd think. You know, you always just kind of want to be good at something, and... I mean, if one person says that I'm good at Let's Play, or... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, Some nobody's gonna say, Oh man, Tails Firaga, you're my favorite LP, or especially when you do shit like that, but... I don't know. I'm very bad at taking compliments, but I guess kind of just being reassured that I do have some kind of place in the world does help, I guess? I might not like myself, but other people like myself, so that's all right. That's, I guess, what I'm just trying to say here. All right, we've got the... Oh, man, these lasers are in really weird patterns, too. All right, so... I guess you guys probably see how this Miracle Matter fight goes now. All right, we play Buster Brothers, and then... Bust you in the face. All right, but we're low on health again, or I'm low on health. I gotta stop saying that we're low on health, because... I mean, 
Oh, it digested my things! Oh no! That's bad. That's really bad. I'm down to one hit point. That's... That's even worse, actually. I've become soul worse guy. Well, at least one of his powers is down. Okay, I don't think this guy can actually physically hit me, but... Nope, I stand corrected. Okay, this is... I guess we're getting a longer episode after all. <laughs> I should not have gone into that stupid uh, rambling about oh, depression and stuff, because it's just like, oh no, I'm so sad. I'm so sad, and you guys make me feel better. No, that's just kind of... I always do this, too. Whenever I say that, oh, my... Whenever I talk about my depression, I always just kind of have to also say that my depression is really fucking stupid as well. And... I don't know, some people... Actually, nobody finds it entertaining. It just kind of comes across as whiny, but... Depending on who you ask, I guess I have reason to whine? I don't know. Regardless, let's actually talk about Miracle Matter. This is a, uh... Very interesting boss fight. Be careful... Okay, well... There we go. Ah, oh, he's running into me. And I'm down to one hit point again, oh no! It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. It's quite the difficulty spike compared to the rest of the world, actually. This is... Ben just kind of... Yeah, no. I, I'm not doing so hot, apparently. Okay, what I, I guess I need to do is just buckle down and focus on what the fight is going to do. That's different. Okay, that's a very uh, different thing for that phase to have done. Well, it's not really a phase, is it? It's not a phase, Mom. It's who I am. But that was weird. I hadn't seen that before, though. Then again, <laughs> if I remembered everything this boss fight could do, I probably would be doing better at it. <laughs> oh, well. Blind Let's Plays always have to have some kind of failure, don't they? Nope. Shit. Okay. This rock form has so far been the one thing that's pissed me off the most. Everything else I can just kind of understand how to fight it, where the safe zones are and stuff, but... Apparently I don't know how to fight Rockman over there. But whatever. All right, cutter dude, cutter dude, we're going down. And go. All right, that's two phases down. Dodge the yellow lasers. I said dodge the yellow lasers. Cur dodge the yellow. Thank you. Okay, fire, 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 fire. Big black smoke ain't no joke. That's a Motorhead reference to uh, all of you Motorhead fans out there. Hi, I'm a Motorhead fan as well, kinda, except I've only actually ever listened to one album, and it was Ace of Spades, which is like the most stereotypical album to listen I mean, it is a good album, to be fair. Ace of Spades, I love it. It used to be kind of my de facto... TF2 playing music, I guess I can say. Because I always have to listen to music when I'm playing Team Fortress 2. It's not like it increases my concentration or anything, it's just background entertainment, just in case. It's almost kind of stress relief. Okay. And go! There we go, we're damaging, we're doing well. Oh god, rocks! No, oh, damn it. 
Okay, rocks is really going to be the hardest phase for me to hit, apparently. Because I'm doing a very not good job of it. What's the opposite of good? Probably, uh... Ungood. Oop, we've got pointy pointy man. Let me give you a pointer here. I mean, I guess to be fair, Miracle Matter gets points for trying, but... Jump out of the way. There we go. All right. Dodge the needles. Up goes the weasel. Okay, rocks. Oh, come on. Rox is the only phase left, too. So I've gotta... Buckle down. Be- SHIT! Really? Ah, oh, I was doing so well, too. Okay, well, we're on our last life. Didn't expect this to be a difficulty spike, but... Then again, it is a final boss. One final challenge for the gamer. You know? I feel like, almost like I need to play some epic music here. Do I have any epic music? I do not. Unfortunately, I do not have epic music right now. All I have is just Kirby. I mean, Kirby could be considered epic. I mean, he did have an epic yarn. Similar to those yarn Yoshis. I am very excited for when Wooly World actually comes out in America, because I realize it's already out in Europe, which is vaguely upsetting. I really want it to be out right now, but it's kind of weird to see America not getting the games very quickly when, for a long time, uh, European territories didn't get their games very fast. Unless it was, like, games made in Europe, like a lot of old Brid- uh, I was about to say Bridget. I was going to say British and budget. You know, all those old Bridget games. For you Guilty Gear fans out there. Oop, this is new. Ooh, I see. Okay, that's a bit tricksy, isn't it? That's a bit great and powerful tricksy, isn't it? Any anyone? My Little Pony? Friendship is Magic? It's a television show? I don't know what network it's on anymore, but it is a television show, so I mean, I guess that's something that it has going for it. I don't know, I kinda like the show at the same time, like, I'm not, like, super huge into it, I'm not gonna be like, oh man, I've gotta watch this new episode of this show and be a total brony and stuff. No, I don't, I don't do that, that's, that's weird. Like, the whole brony thing legitimately weirds me out. Sometimes. Not all the time, but... Okay. Oh god, lasers. Lemonade form. So far, he's about 
two thirds of his life left. Oh god, lasers. Oh no. I don't want to die of lasers. No shit. So bad at dodging these lasers, apparently. But whatever, we can just. We can do this if we just take it slow. Let's not panic. Let's not lose our heads over this. Okay, rocks. I know how to deal with rocks now. Let's suck that up. Go into this corner. Wait for him to come back and boom. Alright. Get some tough stains out. Now I've got bomb. Okay, bomb is easy to dodge. Or maybe. I don't know. Never was that good at Buster Brothers, but I'm gonna do it. Alright, rocks again. Suck. Jump out of the way. Alright, there we go. And kaboom! Alright. Needle. Alright, this one's always easy. This one is always... There we go. Okay, and... Oh, damn, I was hoping to get a second shot, but I guess I can't. Maybe if I were the... was a better man, I'd be able to. Alright, there we go. Rock form is down. We got the lasers again. I don't want to die of lasers. Just be careful. Okay. Spark is down. Okay, needle is easy. Needle is definitely always easy. There we go. Okay. That leaves Cutter. I haven't done anything to Cutter yet. Grab that. Alright, Cutter is gonna be weird. Bombs again. All I need is one more hit on Bomb, I think. Yeah, looks like that's all I need, so... There we go. Cutter once more. Let's get into this side. I actually have a better time on this side. When he's coming toward me and not when he's going away from me. And... There we go, okay. Alright. There are phase two. I feel like there's a phase two. Now we got the crystal shard. Is that... That's it? Wow. That's... Yeah, Dark Matter, you better run. Alright, we beat all the stages, we got that last crystal shard, everything is alright in the world. And the cute fairy queen with the glasses, that's quite nice, and we're even in like a UFO thing. It looks like something you'd store like a sandwich in, like one of those snack keepers that kids have in their lunchboxes. <laughs> Look at DDD, he's about to cry. It looks like something from Fantasy, Zo Fantasy Zone. You don't remember that game? Only 80s kids will remember. That was a bit ominous. Kirby 64, everyone! Wow! I kind of got quiet during that final boss fight because, in all honesty, it was taken a while, so... But, yeah, Kirby 64. In all honesty, this is still, even now, uh, I think 15 years after this game released, a really, really fun game, nonetheless. Kirby 64 does have some problems, I guess, but they're really kind of just few and far between. The art style for this game is great, and a lot of the levels are really imaginative, and so are kind of the set pieces. As always, Kirby games usually generally kind of get your imagination going and get you looking around at all the cool things there are in each stage, and this game definitely does have its fair share of cool things. And I have no idea what that is. Okay, that was kind of ominous. I also like these uh, drawings in the credits, they actually look a lot better than my drawings. Wow. Uh, leave it to a 15-year-old game to make me feel inferior about myself. But yeah, this game is very good. It's not super hard or anything like that. It is... I don't know, I can't pick on this game for being an easier experience because A, I did get three total game overs on it, and B, 
it is a curvy game, so that's about what you'd expect. In all honesty, you pro What is that? Okay, that was really weird. Hiroshi Yamauchi. God bless you, man. But... Not Satoru Iwata, actually. Satoru Iwata must... Was he in the credits? I'm not even sure. I did this and Mario 64 for Iwata. This is kind of the whole thank you Iwata thing, but... Now I'm very confused. Oh well, whatever, that's... Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. 73% complete, so... We really do have to go around and get the rest of the Crystal Shards there. But I'm certain that the alternate ending we get for having all of the Crystal Shards is totally gonna make things worth it. And just to check out, do I have any enemy info? No, I'm really certain that must just be where the cards you get are. Oh, there's a sound test mode now. Look at Kirby there. He's so happy. I can just cycle through all of the musical options. What is this face? Oh, I turned up my volume, I know exactly why he's making that face. Never mind. Never mind, let's let's get off uh, spooky music and just go on with it. <laughs> See you guys later then, this is Tales from Rock is signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and in the next episode, I'm going to be showing off where all of the Crystal Shard locations are. Hope to see you guys then.